welcome to the satellite communication course we start here the gps message system what is the navigation message transmitted from the gps satellite that we'll see here the gps message which transmitted from the satellite it has a 37000 500 bits and at a rate of 50 bit per second and it occupied a period of 12.5 minutes That is about the message and this message contains a system clock then it has a correction data then it has a orbital data that we can see that ephemeris data or ephemeris then orbital position of all other satellite and a satellite telemetry data. Now, if you see that uh, this one is the message, these are the information of the GPS message, and that GPS message consists of these are 337500 bits at the rate of 50 bits per second and that occupies the 12.5 seconds 12.5 minutes there. now this one is about your message now so that a signal reached to the receiver that signal transmitted from which satellite that is about a ephemeris data of that satellite and other orbital position of all other satellites that is remain or that is present in that constellation. Generally, there are 24 satellites in that constellation and that 24 satellites send the data to the receiver. Now, the receiver acknowledges that data and according to that, that range and the position will be obtained there. Okay, so what if range is to be obtained from that signal, then according to that, position is to be obtained there. So now, this particular message, if you see that, we say that it occupies a 12.5 minutes, but this particular message is divided into a what? A 25 frames. I'll draw a frame here. So we can say that frame 1, then we have frame here. We can just frame I now this one is about 25 frames so there are the 25 frames your message is having a 25 frames and we say that that message is of a 12.5 minutes of a, a duration ok that contains of a 12.5 minutes and that total 25 frames are present and that particular frames if you consider that each frame and uh, they have the 30 second period that bit period of with a period of a 30 30 second for that particular frame there 
and then that particular frames is further divided into a pi sub frame of a six second duration suppose i am saying that this about a frame is subdivided here this one is about our frame okay one frame is subdivided suppose i am supposed to be saying that this frame is subdivided into the pi sub frame frame 1 say that the frame 1 so j here this is the frame 5 now that if these are the a frame that frame is subdivided into a pi sub frames and that sub frames of a 6 second duration that is duration is about a, a 6 second and they contain say 300 bits here now this particular frame contains say 300 bits let's say that it contains say 300 bits and this particular frame if you see that they contain say 1500 bit okay 1500 These are about 1,500. This bit, they are. The, it consists of a, a 300 bit frame. Now then, a sub frame we have. That sub frame, again, it will be further divided into a 10 words. This sub frame, again, it will be divided into a a 10 word. This one is about a word one. Word K now, and this one is about word 10 now. Okay, now this sub frame again it is further divided into a 10 words, and that 10 words of a 30 bit data. That is about a 30 bit. Here is a 300 bits. This one is about a 30 bits, and that 30 bits of duration that that is for this particular Word has the duration of a point six second, and then again that word we say that that word is about a a thirty bit. Thirty bit supposed to be. I would like to draw that a word word now. We can say that this word will be looks like here. So we have the bits there, bit one. Bit two, bit three. Likewise, you can say that this one is about a thirty bit. Right? Means one particular word is having a a thirty bit there, and that thirty bits of point six duration there. So if you see that your total message or your that uh, satellite message, if you consider here, so it has a a sub frames there, and that sub frame. is to be transmitted means we have this particular message and that message is to be transmitted and that particular message has a frames then sub frames and the words here now if you consider the single sub frame so what will that particular we can say that is five sub frames are there and that five sub frames carry the information regarding that what are the system clocks okay So means that have the oh, that information about a what will be the telemetry data and all. So we'll go one by one there for that a sub frames, pi sub frames. So now a sub frame one. Now if you see that a sub frame one, sub frame one start with a TLM that. A TLM means what? A telemetry data. Okay, so you can say that a TLM that is about a telemetry data, and then after that, HOW that is about a handover words. 
then we have the total duration of this particular frame and after that handboard it has a, a gps week number then user range accuracy then real time health then a satellite clock correction term satellite clock correction words now that is about your complete a subframe subframe then a subframe two then subframe two has again telemetry data elm sorry then and or words and then it has a if you may parameter then uh, subframe 2 then subframe 3 then again telemetry data and of word then it has a again if you may read parameter then subframe 4 it has a telemetry data then hand over words and then it has a almanac almanac means what a nearby satellite information and and a long term health for satellite that is 25 to 32 then it has a special message then configuration flag Then ionospheric and UTC data. Then uh, UTC means what? Universal coordinate time. Then a subframe five. It has again telemetry data then we can say that a hand over word and then again it has a almanac and a long term health for satellite 1 to 24 and almanac reference time and peak number okay that is about a subframe five almanac and long term health for satellite 1 to 24 at almanac reference time and a peak number so that is about the here a five that each frame having the five subframe and that five subframe contained the, the data now as i told you earlier it has a that message contain system clock correction data 
orbital data, satellite telemetry data, or satellite position of all other satellites. That's ALMNAC. Okay. So that is about the information of this GPS message. Now we say that earlier, so we have the a GPS. That GPS consists of that we say that a space segment, control segment. Okay, so now from the space point of view, so that satellite information is to be transmitted there. That satellite data is to be transmitted. That is nothing but a frame is to be transmitted there from the satellite side. And that that frame having the information, that subframe having the information like that and then we say that we have the TLM and HOW word that is about a TLM data that is about a data regarding your satellite and again we can say that that particular word the TLM word is about the 8 bit data okay TLM is about the 8 bit data and that is that provides the preamble for the synchronization there. Then uh, again it has a, a 16 words then 16 words that are the reserve bids and they have the six parity bids. Then if you consider that HOW, so HOW contains a 17 bits and that 17 bits carry the information for the time of the week information time of week information and then a 7 bit for id of the satellite and then 6 bit for the parity it has the 8 bit tlm has the 8 bit of what the synchronization there 16 reserved bit and a six parity bit okay that is about a six so it has the information about the time of peak information seven bit that is about the idea of the satellite there and the six parity bit so now that is about a hw now then remaining subframe if you see that they have the information regarding that ephemeris data and all okay that is that we have saved for the subframe now that is about your GPS message transmitted from the satellite. So earlier we said that GPS is categorized in a three segments. One we can say that a space segment. Now in that space segment we can say that it has a information regarding the satellite constellation or we can say that satellite number of satellites that is about the space segment there and then each satellite send the information we say that a message so gps consists of a space segment then a control segment then another is about a user segment okay so now we have seen that a space segment what will be the how we transmit the message what will be the message format what are the various satellites used in the that particular constellation we say that suppose there will be 24 satellites so that information about the satellite there are the for the gps system how many satellites are used but for sending the message only 24 to be used other satellites remain in that orbit they are present in that particular orbit then a control segment so now what are the various control segments present in the world there that one particular map we have okay so we'll see that a map here how many components or that generally we say that a control segment it has a a master control station master control station and that master control station 
along with that it has a 16 monitoring station and that 16 monitor station they are present throughout the world they are located throughout the world and it has a, a 12 ground antenna it has a 12 ground now you can see that so if now this is about a, a world map we have so now that if you consider that in the given particular world map so where are these particular stations are located so we can say that a master control station the master control station is present here and from that your signal is to be transmitted from this we say that is about a, a master control station as well as we have the alternate master control station is here okay these are about the two master control station as we said we say that there are the master control station and the out of that there will be a 16 monitoring station so that a 16 monitoring station somewhere likewise we have the monitoring station somewhere in that particular continent there are the monitoring station present so that monitoring stations and again we say that somewhere we have the monitoring stations present if you see that there are the monitoring stations present there okay likewise so we have, we can say that these are the various monitoring stations present okay i suppose i have to use this this one this is about a master control station these are the 16 monitoring stations like this. okay so there are the monitoring stations present okay likewise we supposed to say that okay there are about the master so along with that they have the ground antennas okay so we can say that ground antenna is here you can say that ground antenna is here okay so likewise we have the you can say that the ground antenna is here okay so we can say that another station is here so likewise you can say that we have the ground antenna is here okay likewise but or along with that they have the tracking station is mostly if you consider that a control segment that control segment in the satellite it provides the a command and control function for the gps constellation so what is the role of this control segment it provides the command <coughs> and control function to the GPS constellation. Okay, that is about we have the GPS constellation present, and that again this control segment generate the navigation data. it generate the navigation data and that navigation data is to be uploaded to the a satellite then it has a telemetry traffic control channel TT and C that will be interface to the receive satellite health data and that will be used to telemetry then track satellite and send the command signal then it has a monitoring stations as i told you earlier we say that that satellite segment that segment control segment has a master control station as well as monitoring station and a ground station then the monitoring station we can say the role of that monitoring station to track the satellite that is about and then 
after tracking that particular satellite then then relay the receiving information to the mco relaying the receiving information to mco and once that that information that what we can say that monitoring station that they will collect the information regarding that what a atmospheric data you can say that atmospheric data then we can say that it has the information about that range measurement and we can say that it has the navigational signal and that that is about the control system and that navigation signal that is from the a satellite there and then the role of that mcs that receiving the data from this monitoring station then mcs will correct that whatever the informations received if supposed to be any changes is occur in that particular segment then mcs correct that whatever the changes occur and then after that they will send back that information to the satellite and that information is sent to the satellite through the ground station we have the master control station it will collect the information and then whatever the information collected if there is in something wrong in the information then master control station will modify that information and then the information is to be sent through the ground station antenna and that ground antennas so they are work in the s band okay means we can say that that is just like a controlling action is to be taken place that is nothing but a ttc command so that's why some information is to be sent so that whatever the information regard to that regarding that variations or changes in that particular information of the satellite that is to be sent to this s band means that ground station or ground station antenna they will transmit the navigation data they will transmit the navigation data that navigation data what is to be upload there okay and then they will whatever the navigation data is to be there that is to be transmitted through the telemetry command okay then that is to be transmitted to the satellite and then satellite receive the data and then once that satellite receive the data and according to that it will generate a telemetry <coughs> information and then that correct information is correct or not that will be verify and according to that it will be whichever, whichever the data sent by the mcs it will be corrected through the that telemetry tracking command system so that is about a a control segment that is gps comprises of three segment space segment and a control segment and another control another segment is called as a user segment user segment is nothing but a receiver now if you see that the user segment means it is a, a small device that will receive the information from the a satellite like if you consider that a diagram of the receiver antenna then our amplifier then it has a down converter then a to d converter
then after that it has a dsp receiver charge one then yes then two so likewise that is about a n then after that we have the receiver processor this one is about a receiver processor after that navigation processor and then yeah the user interface that is about the it cannot then for the down converter it requires frequency synthesizer because we is supposed to be provide the control oscillator output This is about the oscillator. You can say that is, that is about the control oscillator. That is just like a crystal oscillator, or you can say that a local oscillator there. Okay. Then we can say that this is about the it generate a reference frequency. You can say that analog IF here. that is nothing but a local oscillator frequency is given as the input here and then a to d converter then uh, that is feedback gain control here automatic gain control <coughs> now that is about a total system here if you see that we can we say that a gps consists of this three segment and out of that one of this is a user segment it is just like a receiver it receives the signal from the satellite so it receives the signal from generally it receives the signal from the four satellite or more generally for the receiver there may be a 10 to 11 satellites are visible so out of that it will select only a minimum four or more signal and then that message to be received from the satellite then decode that particular signal measure the position then velocity and the time so what is the use of this user segment to measure the position then the velocity and then the time that is about the main factors of this user segment so for the given particular receiver what will be the position what is its velocity and what will be the time so it gen generally that user segment will compute the local position and that will be based on the a pa measured parameter and that parameters are received from the the satellite and according that they will obtain that what will the position velocity and time be but the, if you consider that a receiver segment that is it look like small segment there all other components are present in one particular chip or small section of a chip is there nowadays the vlsi technology as well as the dsp technology is used to design this type of a receiver so that's why it is about that receivers are very very small <coughs> handheld devices and they can carry as like a phone there or same component same receiver <coughs> will be integrated in the smartphone nowadays and that that gps system that is available to the users also nowadays so 
so can any individual users can find out their position velocity and time and that is about the information so nowadays that gps receivers that are used in the vehicles for the navigation that is for finding out the route and all so generally that signal whichever the receive by this receiver that receive signal will be processed by the digital is so that's why we are using that analog to digital converter then dsp processor and all that so now we can say that we have the input signal that is about input signal from the antenna then it will be amplified by this rf amplifier or we can say that a low noise amplifier there <clears throat> then amplified signals is down converted there there is we have a down converter we are using and that down, down converter and that is signals are down converted and that will be mixed with a, a local oscillator here so that by mixing then it will generate that if here okay so we'll get that if output here by mixing that down converted signal so we'll get that if signal and then that signal is transmitted to for the analog to digital conversion so that's why here you see a to d conversion there then here is the automatic gain control system or that circuit provides a constant amplitude as for this given adc there so that's why automatic gain control is used to provide the a constant amplitude to the adc there <coughs> now after that here we have the dsp receiver and then dsp receiver receive the signal then demodulate that signal and then whichever that signal received that that in that signal is nothing but acdma signal because satellite send the signal in term form of a sped spectrum okay so that's why that is nothing but a signal received is it is it nothing but a acdma signal from the a satellite there and then that particular signal have the information so regarding that uh, acquisition and a, a code tracking there so that is about the information there and according to that information nowadays that <clears throat> that information will be processed by the receiver and after processing the several channels by this particular receiver then they will perform the output and that in output is nothing but the information regarding that position velocity and a time and that in output is to be given to the user interface processing <clears throat> that is about a a gps system so we have seen that a gps system and their control segment and a space segment there now next about what are the various errors in the gps satellite so we will see that what are the various errors present in this gps satellite so we'll see that here the errors and from that error we can find out that what will be the carrier to noise ratios required for the received signal so first of all we talk about that what are the error so generally that error we say gps error okay so these are about the gps error so means if supposed to be any variation in the clock variation in the ephemeris data occur and then because of that variation so that message contain the information about the ephemeris data and all so then there may be a error occur so generally that receiver gps receiver should receive the correct value or exact value if that values are not correct then we can say that gps receiver is not accurate so to avoid that error we should know that what are the various errors and how to overcome those errors there so means accuracy of the gps receiver is depending upon that what are the 
system or what are the various components present in the receiver so that it will minimize that particular error case so that's why to avoid that particular error <coughs> one reference gps station is to be present so means gps receiver receives the data from the reference station as well as the information from the satellite and that is nothing but a differential gps system so we'll see that first what will be the what are the various errors so that errors are what if you may receive error <coughs> that if you may receive error means what that errors are nothing but related to the position of the satellite means present position of the satellite <coughs> if that position of that <coughs> satellite varies okay so then we can say that that it there may be a ephemeris error because that position changes so whichever the information sent by the satellite <coughs> that will be a different there so in that case that errors will be regarding that position and when that position changes means range will be changes and then there will be a, a delay there <coughs> that error because of that ephemeris error there will be a range error as well as that there may be a delay there then again a satellite clock error now in the satellite clock error so generally we say that a gps system is used <coughs> a atomic clock and we say that it has a stability is about what we say that one part in 10 to the power 13 over a day okay now it's supposed to be we have at the receiver there are the clock prediction model that are transmitted to the receiver so in that case supposed to be there may be a variation in the prediction of that clock behavior then there will be an error in the prediction and that error in the prediction that will be for one part in 10 to the power 13 so that will be for the day but then because of that prediction in that particular clock so that prediction will be average in terms of for this particular day it will be for 1 to 2 minute for a 12 hours okay so that may be the a satellite clocker then again a ionospheric ionosphere is nothing but what it has a density of electron when that signal transmitting through that particular ionospheric layer there may be a refraction of the signal and that refraction because that ionospheric layer it is a dispersive medium because it has a free electron there and because of that whichever the signal transmitted through this so there may be a refraction and that value of that refraction is depending upon that operating frequency so for this ionospheric refraction we should know that what for this particular ionospheric layer what will be the refractive index of that ionospheric layer or that ionospheric region so we should know that the ionospheric region that is the refractive index is nothing but 1 minus eta by f square and that eta is equal to what minus 40.3 n e that n e is nothing but what a number of free electrons in that satellite signal path and that f is nothing but the frequency of this gps satellite so now when that receiver receive the signal because of that ionospheric delay and that delay is because of that there is a refractive index of that particular medium is different so that's why the receiver receive the signal with a some variation there and that error is called as a ionospheric error and that error is about 
varies because of that variation in the free electrons or because of that variation in the temperature zone there okay then another there is about a troposphere then a multi path error okay so we can say that we have the troposphere layer then a tropospheric error in the tropospheric error because in a troposphere there are the variation in a temperature variation in the pimp that pressure there then there will be the variation in the humidity and that very there are the variation in all these values that will contribute to the variation of the speed of a light or that that wave is propagating through that particular rear layer so then whichever the radio wave is propagating in that troposphere so because of this that wave velocity will changes there and because of that wave velocity changes there may be a propagation delay because of this factor and that propagation delay when we transmit the signal or when we receive the signal so that propagation delay occur and because of that propagation delay so there may be a disturb disturbance at the receiver there and that is nothing but the error and error if supposed to be there is no any atmospheric variation is there but again there is a variation because of this particular layer that 